This is a video on how to correctly compress images for web use. If there's one thing that makes a website load slow is uncompressed media, namely images. It's super, super important for a great user experience, for a great fast loading website, for good SEO, for so many things that the website loads quickly and making sure that all the media and images on the website effectively compressed or compressed properly so that way the site can load quickly or as quick as possible. In this instance we're going to use a Trisense uh, generated or Trisense wireframe builder generated page as the example and we're going to replace this gray image over here. Now the good thing about the Trisense wireframe builder is it will add in for us these uh, placeholder images that already have the exact dimensions defined. If you're looking to replace a placeholder or an image that doesn't have any uh, visible cues as to the dimension, then simply just pull up the image in your inspect element tool. And by selecting the class, we can see here in the inspect element that the image's dimension is 470 by 330 exactly. So what you would want to do for this next step is open up Photoshop and we're going to create a 470 by 330 uh, pixel file, resolution 72, I've already done so here. And I'm going to grab or use this image here. This image is massive, it's about 12 meg. So yeah, if we were to add this image onto the page as is, it would absolutely crush the load times for this page in a bad way. So what we're going to do is copy the image open up Photoshop again, paste it, oops, paste it in. This is going to be gigantic as you can see. And we're gonna grab that right hand uh, handle there. Which one, right hand, bottom, left hand. Make sure then you hold down the shift key so it proportionally resizes the image. You definitely don't want it to be getting skewed or, or uh, uh, misaligned or it's squeezed in the wrong proportional way as you resize because that will make the image look like crap. All right, there we go. We've got a good fit here. Now we're going to adjust the image, crop a bit, and we'll move it around so we've got a bit more of a fit. Typically, I like to pull up, if I can remember which hotkey it is to do it. Oh, dear. Generally, I like to pull up the grid system so I can apply the rule of thirds. If you're not sure what the rule of third is, then check out the design standards on the imagery. So it gives me a bit of an understanding on how this works from a grid perspective. So yeah, we've got about a third of the image of the car taking up, which is pleasing, aesthetically pleasing to the eye. It's a psychology thing. Something to keep in mind when you're changing the crop of images. All right, so now we've got the image correctly sized. Let's go to the next step in terms of maxing out its performance. Uh, because I'm a retina screen, it looks very small. So I'm gonna just zoom it up a little bit to 200%, which is how it will show on standard definition screens. Now we always wanna make sure that unless the image has a transparent background, we're using JPEG and we're deselected everything except for optimized. Uh, the convert to SRGP will keep turned on. Uh, metadata, none. That way we're stripping out all uh, unnecessary data, even having metadata on can just add a little bit of size to it. Not noticeable, but it will add a little bit. All right, so what we wanna do here is apply the 70-30 image compression rule. What is that? Well, simply as a first step, drop down the image quality down to 30. And we can see already here, it's a little bit pixelated, so it's noticeable pixelation. If the image isn't, uh, if the image isn't noticeable, like the pixelation on the image isn't noticeable at quality of 30, save it right then and there. In this case it is, so we're gonna pop it up to 70. And there we go, it's much, it's a little bit more crisper in this uh, detailed area around here. So we're gonna run with that. But even see, uh, at 70, it's gone to 58.5 kilobytes, if we left it at 100, it's uh, triple, it's three times more. So just by that little drop in quality, it saved a huge amount of space. General rule of thumb you want to follow is all images 
uh, try to get all images under 100k, but the, you got to balance it out because you don't want to make the image look pixelated because the quality is too low, but uh, always try your best and run that 70-30 image compression quality rule there to help you quickly compress images. All right, so we've got that done. We're going to save that. And when, when you go to save this now compressed image, make sure you're saving it to the website's media folder. Then give it a relevant name. So in this instance, we would call, let's say, uh, we would give it uh, antique car, and then maybe like the business's name or industry, whatever, uh, whatever you, you feel will help make the image title relevant particularly from an SEO perspective. Don't stress about it too much as we will be doing image optimization separately in the build stage for SEO, that is. Once you're happy with the title, save it, upload to the media uploader, and move on to the next.